First stop we made was to a traditional Balinese dancing show and it was all about the protector of evil Barong which I oddly got tattooed on my body a couple of days later. <laughs> Next up, we took a quick little tour of a Luwak um, coffee place. stop was at one of many traditional temples that I went to um, yeah yeah I, I think kind of once you see one temple I guess you've seen them all I wish I'd spent a little more time exploring uh, more of the older temples and really seeking out some of these ancient temples because I'm sure those would have been quite beautiful <laughs> Bali has many great waterfalls. The bananas look like thumbs. A snake skin fruit. Um, which I never got to try unfortunately. The drive up to Ubud is quite lengthy and in the rain um, it, there wasn't too much to see. did end up going to the monkey forest which I think is a temple I'm not sure but it's really it's amazing there 
um, and I really enjoyed seeing so many monkeys. Unfortunately, um, they don't encourage too much interaction with the monkeys because you never know if they would bite you or not and they do say that if you are bitten you must go for a rabies shot. take Instagram photos here it is kind of epic it's these huge like layers of rice fields I guess I don't know how rice is grown so I can't really act like I know but uh, it is interesting it's lovely being here it is raining though so it makes it really hard to kind of take this in uh, and I certainly couldn't fly my drone here and things like that but uh, yeah uh, I guess one more thing to tick off the tourist list The next morning while walking around I found this bowl at the van store which I thought was really cool and I wish I'd had my skateboard there. I spent most of the day just lazing by the pool and walking on the beach and drinking coconuts and that's pretty much how I enjoyed the rest of my time. I was kind of overdoing the touristy type things and I just wanted a holiday where I got to spend some time in the sun, in the water and walking around. I stayed at the Grand Balinese um, Hotel and it was such a beautiful place with just an abundance of the most lush plants and just pools, so many pools of koi fish everywhere. I was just totally fascinated by it. One of my favorite things to do anywhere when I travel is just walk around. I don't know that people understand what a luxury it is for me, given that in Johannesburg it's very hard to walk on the streets. There's a lot of crime, um, it's very much a place where people drive cars to get around and the only real walking you do is either from your car into a mall, around a mall or on a treadmill. This is what a parking lot looks like. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. So many scooters everywhere. Um, yeah, it's just a whole other world. When I was in poolside drinking coconut water, I was trying to find somewhere else to have another massage. I'm absolutely obsessed with the massages, so time for a quick massage because I'm going to go get a tattoo tomorrow. I won't be able to have any massages after that. And let's have a foot massage. The 
sunsets were best seen from the beach right outside my hotel and it was so lovely to not only be sitting with people from all around the world but with the local people who seemed to appreciate the sunsets just as much as I did. Everywhere you go there are just the most amazing little restaurants and uh, while I didn't explore enough at night time during the day there were the most amazing places serving breakfast, brunch, lunch and uh, all of them serve amazing coffee. I would always take a daily walk to Starbucks because that was kind of my safe place but the more I got comfortable the more I would drink the coffee which is the Balinese coffee um, and it's absolutely delicious. decided to get a tattoo while I was in Bali the same way as the first time I went to New York and so I got the traditional Balinese um, barong on my shoulder along with the evil spirit and uh, I think it turned out really great I had a I went to Charlie Rose tattoo and uh, I had a Russian guy named Artur uh, which is Arthur, but uh, in Russian he said it as Artur and uh, yeah, he was a great guy and it was about four and a half hours and uh, Yeah, I'm really happy with the results So thanks for watching subscribe like leave a comment and stay cool